Hey guys, Jared here. So you asked for it and you got it. This is the Nexus 5, or first I should say, Nexus 5 uh, ROM for your Nexus 4. So I wanted to start out on the boot animation. Um, so like I just mentioned, it's actually a direct port from the Nexus 5. It's not just an AOSP build like uh, the paranoid Android folks just recently put out. This is actually uh, the Nexus 5 ROM running on uh, the Nexus 4. So, you know, like always, I'll have a link in the description below so you guys can go and download it and flash it yourself. What I really like about um, this is that it actually came with gapps installed. I didn't have to flash um, a gapps package. After so that was really really convenient also the ROM is ODEX though it doesn't have super user injected into it uh, so um, everything that you're gonna need is actually on the um, uh, XDA developers page um, and he'll have a little link to uh, super SU version 1.6 zip that you can flash so you'd flash this ROM let it reboot to like the language screen as an example um, and then uh, um, boot back into recovery and then flash super SU so anyways with that out of the way as you can see everything is working perfectly the uh, Google now um, side, I, I don't even know what we would call that. The Google Now home screen, I guess, uh, is there and working. Everything works. Like, say, for instance, if I say, okay, Google then it works as expected. Um, though unfortunately, it seems Google still isn't recognizing Canada. That Canada actually has their own English language as well. It's not exactly the same as US, so I do have to have US, um, I, and I haven't been able to test whether or not it works obviously with uh, English, uh, Canadian English, I suppose you should say, but nevertheless, if it doesn't work for you, just um, make sure you switch it over to your language to uh, uh, US English. Um, anyways, so here's the app drawer. Everything's there as you would expect. All the latest Google apps are up updated everything 100% uh, pull down from the notification tray all your Nexus 5 colors and everything much like I showed you um, on the uh, Android 4 to 4 AOSP build for the Nexus 4 that I put out a couple of days ago um, though that build a few things were missing and there was some various different bugs going around such as the calendar was forced closing and other things like that um, if you do need um, the latest G apps a uh, 4.4 G apps um, Paranoid Android has finally pulled out put out their full uh, G apps package uh, um, which is quite a large package, but all the little bugs have been worked out there. Um, so we go into more here, and you can scroll on down here. As you can see, we have mobile plans. So depending on your carrier, Bell doesn't have a, I guess, whatever it was called there, a provisioning website, I suppose I should say. Um, so I can't take advantage of that. Um, we do, actually, I'll show that in just a moment there. Um, go into storage. And I don't think, no, I thought I was going to see something new there, but uh, I guess I was wrong. There's your tap to pay and nothing there for me, though, and uh, very hard to come by um, things here in Canada that you can use tap to pay. Location, of course, we've got that uh, new sort of location modes and low battery usage and all that great stuff to help us uh, squeeze some extra hours out of our phones. Uh, moving on from there, we do have printing. So clicking on that, as you can see, uh, whereas before in the previous video I did with just the straight up AOSP build, um, this was not there. There was it was a placeholder holder for something, but nothing was there previously. So uh, backing out of there, and of course we can go to about phone. You can see it's Android 4.4. I was going to say 4.4.4, but that's not out yet, is it? Um, oh, and I suppose some of you guys might be interested in what the kernel is. So there's your baseband version. Um, I think that's actually is it. Ooh, is that a new one? I can't remember. Uh, there's your kernel version 3.4.0. And your build number KRT16M. Um, so I don't think there's really anything else to show you other than the um, wallpapers. So uh, previously I showed you that we had all these wallpapers uh, available, ready to go. Um, now we have the addition of a couple of extra ones, including the Sunbeam, which we did find on um, Google Edition phones, such as the HTC One and the Samsung Galaxy S4. But unlike the other one, most importantly for me in this instance, we actually have the official Nexus 5 uh, wallpaper where as you can see it's kind of supposed to be in the shape of a five there um but yeah everything's working guys uh, sms everything um nothing's broken at all and for those of you wondering if there's anything changed in the camera application unfortunately there is not um and if I may say so, I think there might be something a little bit buggy with this camera application on the Nexus 4 because as you can see, um, even though I'm you know pretty close, so it's trying to focus constantly, continuous focus on something there, even when I bring it up and say, for instance, I kind of just face it down, um, it will continue to try and focus over and over and over again. And it was really difficult for me to get it to stay focused so that I can take a shot, though it looks like it's staying focused at the moment. So anyways, go figure. Um, but like I said, I'll have a link in the description below for you guys. I'm really enjoying this. this 
this is what I'm going to be using on my Nexus 4 until my uh, Nexus 5 shows up, um, unless there's some really, really cool ROMs that I want to show you guys. But I think right now we're all sort of looking forward to the next iteration of Android on our Nexus devices. So I don't, uh, you can't blame me and I don't blame you guys if you aren't looking at any other ROMs at the moment. Uh, anyways, hope you liked the video. If you did, click that likes button down below. Subscribe for more videos if you're new to the channel. But uh, as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.